Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and hmm. this is called Steel. We are busy with our second day of the Academy Festival, just making our rounds around campus and last time we did the outer circle, all the people outside, all the buildings there and now we are over to the main building and after that we'll continue on with the main story by going to the old schoolhouse and see what George is up to with Velimar. So let's keep on chatting. The auditorium will host both the operetta and a concert today. Try to catch them both. Today's crowd seems even bigger than yesterday's. I can only assume they're here to see the events at the auditorium. <laughs> I'm sure that both of them will be big hits. Yeah, I'm sure they are as well. All members of the board are here at the moment. They seem to be engaged in discussion just outside of the faculty lounge. Why don't you go over and greet them? We actually should, shouldn't we? All members of the board are here at the moment. They seem to be engaged in discussion just outside of the faculty lounge. Yeah, and doesn't seem that this story related, but I'm pretty sure each and every single one of them is going to be a slight little scene. Uh, I'm stuck here on duty today. Oh, cruel fate. Why must you draw me away from my husband hunting? Although, this might be the ideal opportunity to capture any darlings who come through here. Always ready to look at an opportunity, aren't you, Margarita? Oh my, even while I work, I can continue to hunt. The wait for handsome passerby begins. Hmm, the water does so many options that I simply don't know where to start. Perhaps I should ask you the same question. Is there anywhere that you like to go first? Hmm, things look pretty lively today. So, you want to go anywhere in particular? Yeah. Make the decision! Oh, my husband was able to wriggle out of work, so we came here to have some fun. Funnily enough, we did the same thing just after we got married. But the memory had completely slipped my mind until today. That's my man. Gordon, you did it. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, man. Because this, these little things, they are so important. Putting those little efforts in. Well done, Gordon. I'm proud of you. I managed to get a little bit of time of work, so I want to take my wife to the festival. <clears throat> Was the festival really this busy last time we visited? Probably. Yeah, well done Gordon, well done. Well, I had a ton of fun yesterday, so I'm gonna work extra hard today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Eastern Tea House Miyabi. Alright, any more? Yes, the janitor is in his office. Hmm, the principal told me all about what you were up against last night. You kids sure don't have it easy. Are you sure you're all healthy enough for your concert today? I might be saying this a little late, but try not to go overboard, you hear? Hmm, <laughs> trust me, uh, Gyler. Once you see the concert, you don't want to miss it. You're going to be insanely proud of us. Alright, let's go uh, meet the board of directors. Hmm, still... I hear young Machias is great, place him comfortably at the top of his class. You must be incredibly proud. Well, I'm certainly pleased from an academic perspective, but I'm amazed by Yusuf's balance of academics and athleticism. And despite his many achievements, he always looks so calm and composed. He clearly took uh, after you in that regard. <laughs> I think Machias and Yusuf are both thinking exactly the same thing right now. Well, I can say I saw this coming. Well, I've heard that the two of them will be singing together during Class 7's concert. What would you say to sitting together during the performance? It only seems fitting, after all. You can't be serious! <laughs> what a marvelous idea! I would be happy to. I can only hope that my son doesn't bring your brother any embarrassment on the stage. Dad! <laughs> they're from the opposing factions, but I guess their duties here would have them interacting quite a bit. It actually seems like they're pretty good friends too. Yeah, why not? Even though they're different factions, it's good to see people from the other side as people. And that's what they're doing right here. This festival is great regardless, even if it's because little things like this. Hmm, it's been, what, a month since we last met? I heard that things took a turn for the unpleasant after my departure from Roar, however. Well, ah, oh, come now. You don't need to hold back around me. In this place, I'm not but an academy director. 
and by extension one of the many people praying for this festival's success. That much I can guarantee you. I never had a th shred of doubt about that. I hope you'll enjoy our performance. Every last one of us is working hard to make it something special. Even you says, though he might tell you otherwise. Hmm, I expected as much. <laughs> Seeing my little brother up on stage should be a rare delight. I doubt I will be able to tear my eyes away. Well, I can hardly wait for your class's performance, Reen. I'm still a little dumbstruck that Machias and of all people took a singing role. <laughs> yeah, that's what you call peer pressure. Now, there's something I wish I could have uh, shown my niece. Sir, Machias, myself and the entirety of Class 7 are doing everything we can to make this concert one to remember. We hope that you'll uh, enjoy it. Ah, uh, that's good to hear, and I'm sure I will. Good luck up there. Hmm, <laughs> this should be a fun performance. I'm eager to see what my son can do alongside the rest of his class. Hmm, what a headache. I wouldn't have imagined those two got along so well. Are they seriously planning on going around the festival together? <laughs> ah, come on guys, I don't think that's so bad. It's nice to see two important figures from opposing factions getting along. You two should try it sometime. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh well, I suppose I should be glad he was able to make it uh, at all, considering the current state of affairs. But we'll need to make sure we ace our performance. We will, Marcus, I'm sure. Hmm, stopping my brother once he's taken an interest in something is nigh impossible. Oh well, at the very least he's not the type to bring shame upon himself through his actions. <laughs> Today's finally Class 7's time to shine, isn't it? How exciting it will be to see you all perform. Break a leg! Figuratively speaking. I know it's a saying for people that go on stage to perform, but what if they actually broke a leg? It would be a very weird performance. Oh, today's finally class 7 time to shine, isn't it? <laughs> it sounds like you had quite the time yesterday. Indeed, Instructor Makarov and I got rather carried away discussing our families and their quirks. Although I was taken aback when, partway through said discussion, a mysterious lady butted her way in. It turned out that she was only his sister. Not to imply that I was relieved to hear that. Oh, she was. She definitely was. <laughs> Never even crossed my mind. While the world may be tearing itself apart, it's not something for you students to worry about right now. All you should be thinking about is the festival today. Today's days for making happy memories. Make the most of it. That we definitely will. And I think Mary is taking a little bit of a shining to uh, Makarov. <laughs> really? Did he went overboard with the eating because he wanted to be close to Sharon? <laughs> uh, Anton was so excited to eat a pretty made cooking that he gorged himself until he was sick. He's lying down now. I hate to say I told him so, but... Uh, <laughs> I told him so. Uh, don't talk to me. Uh. Yeah, well, he did enjoy her cooking a lot. <laughs> I hope that lasted uh, an impression on Sharon. So, everything's okay back uh, at the company then? I'm surprised you managed to find the time to make it over here. Especially with everything that's happening in Crossbell. Hmm, as I've told you before, time is something you make, not something you find. And as a member of the board of directors, the Academy Festival is exactly what I needed to make time for. How else would I be able to see how the Academy is being run? You could also say, what better time is there to see my daughter performing on stage? <laughs> my, what impressive time management. I can only hope your logical, logistical wizardry helps you put the pieces of my company back together again. Hmm, was it supposed to be a jab at my new self-supporting accounting system? You may not have noticed, but time have changed. Increasing efficiency is the only way a corporation can remain successful. Your policies might have worked when you were chairman, but they do nothing but hurt the company if enacted today. Hmm, funny all that efficiency makes communication and cooperation between divisions so much harder. Oh, that just happens when a corporation develops and grows. A problem, perhaps, but a necessary one. Bah! Hmm. Oh, will you two just drop it? 
You haven't seen each other in five years, and the first thing you do is start arguing? <laughs> I, for one, am overjoyed to see how well these st two still get along. Well, what do you mean, well? All uh, we talking about the same people? <laughs> I think this might actually be how they get along. Oh yes, your class is planning on some sort of performance, correct? It will play into our discussions as to how to deal with class 7 next year. Stay focused on that, not on the global events you have no influences over. Yes ma'am, we'll do what we can to exceed your expectations. It seems like even she's concerned about what's going on in Crossbell. Of course she would be, even if it's only from a business perspective. Class 7 is planning on doing some sort of performance, correct? Mm, I'm pretty excited about this uh, performance of yours, especially after that kid with the bandana told me about the sexy outfits the girls will be wearing. Should be a good chance to see how my little granddaughter's been filling out. So Ring, who's the girl to uh, keep my eye on, hmm? My god is saying Emma. Perhaps this isn't the best time to be having this conversation. Come back to the field behind the store, behind the building. I have all the deeds. Yeah, but he's right. If he's looking for the most voluptuous of the ladies, it's definitely gonna be Emma. If you're gonna be for the most sexiest, it's probably gonna be Laura or uh, Alyssa, definitely. Ah, shame. Luckily, I've never been opposed to a bit of eyes on research, especially when the topics at hand is so important. Hey, don't give me that look. I'm not doing this for my own satisfaction. I'm fulfilling my sacred duty as a man. Yeah, but the fact that both align nicely doesn't hurt, does it? Mm. Mm, I plan on guiding the chairman and Master Gwyn around the festival after this. <laughs> Quite some time have passed since they last saw one another. As such, I believe that it's only appropriate to allow them to enjoy themselves here. <sighs> I hoped they were going to behave since they hadn't seen each other in so long. But how wrong I was. Well, they look like they're getting along pretty well to me, though. Being able to argue like that is part of being a family, I think. Really? Well, I suppose it's better to argue than not talk to each other at all. I'm amazed that they manage to argue like this every single time. But I suppose it's better than refusing to talk to one another. That's a really nice positive way to looking at it. Oh, don't you try and stop me, Makarov. I'm going to see... Mince class, no matter what. Well, hold up, I told you, I take you. Don't just wander off on your own. Oh, please, you'd get lost on a one way street. We'd get lost whenever the two of us uh, went anywhere together. And whose fault was that again? Just to wander off on your own or something like that, alright? I'll be done in like half an hour, so just don't cause any trouble until then. Deal? Oh, you think you can butt into everyone's business? But you're too clumsy to actually help them. I just like uh, for you to exert the slightest bit of self-awareness. Right back at you. <laughs> well, they definitely related. Oh, good day. Allow me to humbly welcome you to... You're not from the board of directors at all. What's a class 7 student like you doing here? Don't you have a concert to perform? You should be focusing on that rather than gallivanting around campus. You better not expect a sympathetic ear. For me, once you all, your slacking causes class 1 to completely obliterate you. And I'm not saying that just because I happen to be class 1's homeroom teacher either. It's plain to see that the operetta is not perfect. Your class won't stand a chance unless you're all in perfect form. I don't know if he's just asking us to be in perfect form to be a nice challenge for his class or not. We'll have to see. Are you in Van Dyke? There is someone on his way to see you. Mm, excellent work last night, Swarter. Class 7 accomplished something that few others could. I've sent young George and instructed Thomas to investigate the old schoolhouse now that things have settled down. I expect that they will report their findings soon enough. Meanwhile, you'd all take the time to enjoy yourself today. <laughs> and after that, after all, it was you yourself who carved the path forward today. Yes, we did. Your concert takes place this afternoon, doesn't it? 
there's still a fair amount of time left until then, so why don't you look around and relax until then? Yes, and try not to stumble over words too much. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it. Let's get over to the second floor. It's gonna be busy here as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, second day of the festival. So many people. Hmm, I see. Sounds good to me. Hmm, look all you want. I respect those who understand art. That's all there is to it. Green! It's good to see you again. I'm oh, sorry to bother you out of the blue. Glad to see you two could make it all the way out here. <laughs> but I heard you two ran into trouble on the way here. What happened? Well, we stayed the night at my house in Heimdall yesterday, you see? Then Tor here thought it would be a great idea to get lost while exploring the city. It wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to know it would be so big? Or be so full of people? Don't worry, I just had the same reaction when I first visited. <laughs> At least I found you safe and all sound. How are things back in Nord? Over here, it's hard to not feel the tension at Crossbell's border, but I'm curious if it's the same there. Well, to be honest, it hasn't really had any effect on Nord. Should things take a turn for the worse, Xander Gate is ready to act. Lieutenant General Vander seems to have a handle on the situation, though. <laughs> he also gave got us permission to go through really quickly. Sounds like we have a lot to thank him for. Indeed. I hope I'll have the chance to do so personally at some point. But that's enough for this serious talk. Have a good time today, both of you. Will do. Oh, she's very skillful. Hey, Charl, is carving these statues some sort of custom for girls of the Empire? <laughs> I'm going to say no. This is what they call an art club. It's a place where people with a passion for the arts gather and improve their skills. Ah, so that explains why she's so good. Mm-hmm. She had a lot of practice. <laughs> Look at them both taking it all in. Especially Toma. This is the first time he set foot outside of the Highlands, after all. <laughs> you can almost see his eyes sparkling. I'm glad he's having a great time. Same here. My decision to come to Thor's means that now Toma's been able to see another part of the world for himself. Who knows? Perhaps this is the way the winds and the goddess wanted it to be. Yeah, because now he has a taste of the outside world. So maybe just like Gaius, he can go study abroad. I'm planning on showing them around the academy for now. I'm sure it was the guidance of the winds and the goddess that made this all possible. They have my thanks. My thanks as well. Oh, what an astounding art show. I hope all of the young artists involved continue to develop their artistic sensibilities. I hope so too. Because there's always room to grow. My sister decided out of the blue that she wanted to make some sweets today. That's great, I said. Have fun, I said. But she just had to drag me along with her. Uh, was she get an idea in her head? She doesn't hear a word I say. Okay. I'd like to put some toppings on. Feel free to top it with whatever fruits you like. Well, as long as it's not pineapple. Pineapple prevents the batter from hardening up properly. Really now? That's a new fact I've learned today. Feel free to top it with whatever fruit you like. I thought it was going to be like a don't put pineapple on pizza type of discussion. <laughs> but no, it actually has a reason why it's not supposed to be on there. Things are opposite of good in Crossbow right now. On top of that, Rumor has it that they're freezing Erebonian assets. Oh, my wife told me I had to come here and learn how to cook, but it's kind of hard to focus right now. <laughs> Just keep on kneading your dough and making some delicious bread. That's more important right now. The head of the club agreed to arrange an impromptu chorus. Oh, look at how happy the kids are. They've grown closer as friends. So much as they are even spending the festival together. Oh yeah, those are the two kids that on the first day were reading uh, books in the library all freaking day. <laughs> well, as long as they are enjoying themselves, they might have developed a new friendship with each other. La, 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 la. Yeah, I, I don't know those lyrics. Choirs really are the best for kids. 
It isn't really what this class is about, but as long as they're having fun, it's fine by me. Yeah, I think that's the best way uh, to go about with this festival. Even if you need to make slight changes, as long as that means that people are having fun, I think it will be worth it. Elliot, my sweet boy! Why do you shrink from your father's loving embrace? Oh, it's because it's so embarrassing! Fiona, a little help please. <laughs> this is the first time we've been together in so long. It wouldn't be right for me to intrude on your bonding time. Unless, however, Dad gets too carried away. In which case, he should expect a severe scolding later. Hmm. You resemble your mother more with each passing day, Fiona. <laughs> Looks like Fiona rules the rooster around here. Oh, Reen. How nice to uh, see you, Reen. It's been too long. Agreed. Thank you for coming, Lieutenant General. I know you're incredibly busy. Hmm, think nothing of it. Nothing in the world can keep me from seeing my beloved son take stage by storm. Admittedly, this doesn't make things more difficult for a Nightheart. Oh, he's at Karelia Fortress right now, right? That he is. If he left him in charge of maintaining contact with the other armored divisions. If our circumstances weren't quite so precarious, I would have allowed him to remain here to attend the festival. But I bet anything he'll be a commander someday, so I figured he might as well get some good experience in. I suppose so. Things must be really tense over at Crossbell. Uh, still no sympathy for your subordinates, I see. <laughs> That's merciless aside. But uh, best of luck with your performance, Elliot. Try to put a show that will leave even this stubborn old man flabbergasted. Old man? <laughs> I'll definitely try. Besides, I've got to prove that I've come a long way since I first entered the academy. And uh, the rest of us will be there to help you do so. Oh, sorry, Reen. My dad's being his usual over-affectionate self. But with both him and my sister here, I'm feeling even more pumped about our concert. Let's give him a real surprise by making it the greatest show they've ever seen. Sounds like a plan to me. They're both le really looking forward to our concert. My friends from the Music Academy said they'd be coming too, so I really want to blow their socks off. Oh, they are here. We already talked to them. <laughs> I can only imagine that practice must have been rather demanding with Elliot involved. Music is the sole area in which he demands nothing less than perfection. <laughs> well, that's certainly been our experience. But without him, things would have never shaped up the way they did. Though, I'm not sure our performance is up to standard as a trained pianist. Not to worry. A musical performance is less about skill of the performance than the feelings they put into it. I am certain your performance will be breathtaking if all of your thoughts are as one on stage. That's what I hope to hear. We'll try not to let you down. I've heard that you will be performing a new kind of music using orbally powered instruments. <laughs> this performance should be rather interesting. Oh, that it will be. Ah, Ideos, I know I don't deserve to see Elias performance today. It was I who denied him his chance to before pursue his dream. But what sort of father would I be if I wasn't there to celebrate my son's moment in the spotlight? Ah, oh, goddess, I entreat you. Please proffer, proffer your guidance upon this lost lamb. He seemed genuinely concerned about what to do. <laughs> don't worry, just support your son and it'll be awesome. Oh, Ideos, I don't know. Uh, I deserve to see Ellie's performance today. Alright, and... Ah, the Klein family. Oh, Klein's uh, got a bunch of friends. <laughs> I hope I'm not that popular when I get older. I told Klein to spend some time with his friends. <laughs> it will be his last chance to enjoy the festival like this. I want him to get everything he can out of it. Big Pro School is so fun. I want to go there when I grow up. <laughs> yeah, do your best and you just might. Seems like they didn't find out too much about what happened last night. Everything's okay now though, so it's better not to worry about it. Let's just stay focused on enjoying the festival. Let's. Class 7 put so much uh, work to make sure the festival can, uh, could keep going. It's uh, be downright rude not to have a great time. My mom told me to go hang out with my friends today. You in? <laughs> sure, let's invite Laura and Monica along too. 
Klein offered to get me something from the food stalls. <laughs> Alright, today's gonna be great. Yeah, free food and hanging out with friends? Definitely a great time. Wait, was I supposed to be on reception duty? Mint, are you trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> Sorry about that. I kind of sort of completely forgot. Yeah, she was uh, too busy playing matchmaker today. Laura and I have plans to enjoy the festival together today. I'm leaving the reception in your hands, Mint. Good luck. Alright, let's hope uh, that will be okay with Mint involved. You never know. Alright. Damn, there's even a lot of people on the rooftop today. So, on the agenda are the two performances in the auditorium and the big after party. <laughs> I'll be kicking myself if I miss those. Well, we'll definitely not be missing that. Oh, it seems as though today's performances have drawn us more visitors than yesterday. Now I can't wait to see which attraction get the most uh, popular. Will it be the one that drew the people in at a steady pace? Or will the flash of performances take the crown? I simply can't wait to find out. I guess the popularity vote will really depend on the quality of the performances today. It should be pretty interesting. Well, I think everybody is expecting that the operetta or the concert will be the one to win. But uh, we'll see. There's nothing else we can do about it now. Hmm, I still have not forgiven father. How presumptuous of him to arrange my marriage without so much as telling me. Hmm, I must apologize for not mentioning it myself. Although, based on who you are due to marry, I assume you wouldn't be terribly keen on hearing anything more about him. Hmm, that's a small mercy. Sort of like him are nothing but uncivilized brutes. No, my lady, I'm afraid he's not involved with the military at all. Surely you've heard of the Lake Lord family of fishermen. Oh, what? Is he suggesting Kenneth? That would actually be a great match uh, for Annabelle. The, the, the Lake Lord family? The same Lake Lord who make all the fishing equipment. I, I can't believe this. Why wasn't I informed? They let me to believe he was someone of military status. Although the head of the family is a mere baron, the Lake Lords are rather influential. Though, given your graceful nature, I would not have assumed you would have found one of their sons to be an appropriate match. I am terribly, terribly sorry. Kenneth, perfect match. That would be nice to see if you actually uh, went out with Kenneth. But I do think they do fit together really well, considering her newfound proudness in fishing. We're going to uh, go to the cooking class today. Mom and I are going to bake some cookies together. It's going to be so much fun. I heard that there was an incident last night. Was there a robbery or something? Well, no matter what it was, I'm just as happy that the issue was resolved and we can safely enjoy the festival. Yeah, it was... Um, Resolve for as far as we know. <laughs> the still things might still be happening later on, but uh, we'll have to wait for that. Oh, just what happened at the old schoolhouse last night, anyway? I suppose it doesn't really matter, as long as things are fine now. Might as well forget about it and get on selling. The important thing is that the festival is still going. Yeah, any new things? Ooh, dark cherry pie. Hmm, how lovely it is to enjoy a little meal on the rooftop. One could say this is a yearly tradition of my own. I'll bake a delicious one. Oh, he never would have done something like this the first time we attended the festival. He probably would have called it low with a difference 20 years back. <laughs> as long as he's enjoying it now. Hmm, is it true that all of you will be performing too? Be still, my heart, to think I've added another handful of souls to the growing roster of those my art has moved. Please forgive me, I'm but a sinful man. Yeah, like he would uh, have been the reason for us performing. Ah, the rooftop is the best. But now, I just want a nap. <laughs> I don't think I know anyone who loves anything as much as you love naps. Hmm, this might be my last chance for a good rooftop nap too. Even she's concerned about what's happening in Crossbow. Mm, lazing around has made me sleepy. I'll go take a nap after I settle things with William. Oh, 
here we are. Are you two already done looking at the attractions? Mm, not a chance. We're just taking an itsy bitsy little break. Well, we're locked into a deathmatch. And the upper hand is mine. Oh, you're not taking me down that easily. I've turned the tables around and I will turn the tables around again. I don't know if I've ever seen you this serious, Milliam. <laughs> I'm gonna win and tell Lecter all about it later. I'd brag to him sooner, but he couldn't end up making it to the festival. Hmm, the captain from the intelligence division? Yeah, he went off to Crossbell this morning. And once again, Milliam casually reveals military secrets to everyone in earshot. What could have happened that uh, they needed him in Crossbell so quickly? I think for that, we need to play the Crossbell arc. <laughs> Things must be really bad over there. Are we really... We are having a rematch after this, V. I'm not letting you win. Fine, but no using Argetlum. They'll yell at us if you break the machine. I get it, I get it. <laughs> she would have definitely used Lemmy for it. Guaranteed. Uh, th th this is a great pie, isn't it? It really is. It reminds me of the pies your mom used to bake for us. <laughs> it really does. Nobody in town makes better pies. I finally asked her. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I've been dreaming about being able to talk to her like this for a long time. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to spend the whole day right by Ellen's side. Yeah, they're so meant for each other. Uh, I'm happy you finally uh, made the effort to do so, Ellen. I know you were nervous, but it worked out all in the end. And to be honest, it was so clear that these two belong together that it was a guarantee. It was just a formality, him asking. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to spend the whole day right by Ellen's side. You might. You actually might. Alright, I think we are finally done talking to everyone. <laughs> that was a bit a long task. But one I definitely wanted to do. Because you never know what people are thinking. Things we get to learn about not only the main characters, their families, but also the random people here attending the academy. It's so important to do that, just for the added little bit of lore and development of the world as a whole. I just love doing that. And like I said, there is a chance we're gonna have to do it a couple of more times before the game's over. Because I think after George, we're gonna meet up with Elise, which might turn up today. And after that, maybe just before the concert. So I imagine two more times of day that we can talk to everyone and enjoy the festivities of the festival a little bit more. But uh, for now, let's head over to the old school house. I want to see how Velomar is doing. Because if uh, my hunch is right, he's going to be like a mech for ours. A knightly suit of armor we can use to fight in combat. If that is the case, Cold Steel 2 is going to be awesome. <laughs> But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Come to think of it, isn't George down on the seventh floor? I've still got a while before Elise arrives, maybe I should take him something to eat. Elise should be close now, so I better go see George and head back up before she gets here. Ooh, you're free to walk here? So which side do we want to go to? Because I think this goes takes us back into the dungeon. It's dangerous to go this way right now. Is it though? Because I can beat almost every um, setup with just me and my S-Craft. <laughs> Look at that. Damn, it's a really great design, isn't it? I like it. Can't wait to uh, see it out in daylight with proper coloring instead of this green hue that's around it. Hey there, guys. Oh, what's up, Reen? I see curiosity got the better of you too, eh? <laughs> no helping that, I guess. I wondered if maybe you'd found out anything about it. Oh, I brought you a little something to eat too. Oh, thanks. I was just thinking I could use a little sugary pick-me-up to get my brain back on track. <laughs> He's a ah, pie or cookie. That new dark cherry pie I've heard about. Ah. It's supposed to be delicious. And really filling, too. Oh, thanks. I'm feeling all fired up now.
You seem pretty taken with this thing, huh? Can't say I blame you, though. Yeah, it's really amazing. Whatever it is. So, what do we know so far? I'm glad you asked. The deeper I look into it, the more fascinating it seems. It's not just a statue or anything like that. You can see those joints. This thing's clearly capable of movement. And on top of that, it's made of, well, something I can hardly even begin to describe. A metal they don't even know yet. Some unknown metal, then. It's definitely not iron. And it's not one of those recently discovered special alloys, either. It's some kind of fiendishly strong material that has properties of both metals and ceramics. If you knew how to manufacture it, you'd rake in so much money it'd make your head spin. Wow. You think there's a possibility that it might be an ancient artifact? Oh, it's definitely an ancient artifact. You mean like something from the era before the Septian calendar? I can't rule out the possibility, but in this case, my gut's telling me no. No? Hmm. Oh well, we still have lots to learn about what it actually is and from what era it uh, comes from. Artifacts are like black boxes. Not only do we not know what they're made from, we don't even know how they were made. This thing at least shows signs it was put together by some exceptionally skilled craftsmen and engineers. You can see it most clearly in the ornamental detailing and the joints. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Still, that basically sums up everything I do know. I've got no idea when it was made or who could even have built it. Okay, so in their perspective, ancient artifacts are those uh, mystical things like uh, the box that we had to handle in Trails in the Sky the Third. I got that. And because this is man-made, even though it's very special and probably very old, they then don't classify it as an artifact. That's an ancient <laughs> device. It'd help if we could at least figure out something about whoever piloted it, but no such luck there. Piloted? You're telling me someone's actually supposed to crawl inside this thing? Well, the measurements I've taken seem to indicate a hollow area in the chest. And it's just the right size to accommodate a single person. If I could just find some way to get it open. Man, it's hard to imagine that some crazy person used to strap themselves inside this thing and run around. Jellica would be happier than a pig in a mud hole if she could see this. Oh, she definitely would. It's basically like the advanced version of a bike. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. It's not looking like she'll be able to make it to the festival, though. It's sad things ended up the way they did. Hey, hey, don't you guys go getting all weepy on me now. It's still morning. I'll bet she'll just turn up out of nowhere this afternoon like nothing even happened. And then she'll waltz right into the after party and round up all the hottest babes for herself. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Still sore, are we? It feels like so long ago now. To think that was just last year. You're right, though. It's hard to imagine her just staying put when she knows there's a party going on. Yeah, hopefully she'll be able to uh, sneak her way in. I mean, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, but this is Angie we're talking about. <laughs> you got that right. But hey, the festival's in full swing. We should be seeing the sights, not poking around down here. What do you say the three of us cruise the campus and see if we can score some honeys? <laughs> no can do. My sister should be showing up soon, and I promised I'd show her around. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have fun. I think I'll pass on the honey hunting, but I guess it's a good time to pack it in for today. I don't want to miss your concert later. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've been practicing all this time. Well, I hope we don't disappoint. Oh, I'm sure you'll be okay. It's gonna be an amazing concert. Ha! Oh, don't, don't fight it, don't fight it. No, 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 no. Don't want any scratches on that. Thanks for the pie. It was delicious. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I ordered a few too many of these the other day. Mind taking a few of my hands? <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Hey, no problem. Good luck up uh, there on stage. I wonder that, uh, would the game pick the best option that we have in our inventory from all the stalls out there? And that's because we bought everything, it picked the pie because that was the best one for George. I am wondering that, because I wouldn't mind uh, seeing right. what he would do with a crepe or something. 
or make a monstrosity like uh, Fidel did. Anyway, I'm just glad they didn't uh, can the festival in the end. We still got plenty of time until the concert, so go out and have some fun and get yourself pumped up for it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I will. Anyway, I'm just glad they didn't can the festival in the end. Ooh, we can still customize and shop here. But the fact that we are getting items from him still wonders that will there still something happen later after the concert or something that will be uh, thrown into a fight, maybe against Velomar, that uh, George does something and it wakes him up or so. Nah, we'll, we'll have to see until uh, later, I guess. I might be a bit out of my depth here, but that's not going to stop me from turning, trying to figure this thing out. It's not like it's going to jump up and run away or anything. It's completely out of orbital energy. Which also makes no sense, since it looks like it should be perfectly functional. Hmm. So basically, all they need to do is infuse it with power, and then it would actually be uh, serviceable? Interesting, interesting indeed. Alright, let's go uh, back to the festival. I still have a little bit of time left, see if we can uh, find Elise. And hopefully not trigger an event that will last like a half an hour, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Almost 10 a.m., which means Elise should be here any minute now. Might be good to make my way over to the front gate and wait for her. Alright, so do we have anything we want to do here before we head over to the front gate? Because, thinking about it, I do feel like it might be wiser just to uh, end the episode right here and right now before we initiate our contact with Elise. Because even though I just jokingly said it might uh, end up a half hour scene, because I don't know if uh, we'll be walking around campus ourselves and activating scenes all across the location, or if the game will just take over and guide us all around campus ourselves through all the main attractions. So just to make sure that that doesn't happen, I'm going to end the episode here. Next time we're going to talk to Elise and uh, have another round around campus with her and show her around the sites. And possibly show her the rest of Class 7, the directors and all that kind of good stuff. But that's going to be next time. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Mm. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be with next time to see how Elise finds the second day of the festival. See you then. Bye-bye.